we know that for Canada to thrive, we need to have the voices of everyone building our economy, our products, running our businesses, teaching our children. And that means we've got to find a way to include these diverse voices. Uh, in order to do that, we have to have conversations, we have to have plans, we have to move from thought to action, and we have to be very intentional and purposeful. It's always so encouraging when folks are just willing to sit and listen and take in and learn and, and, and really ask the question, what can I do? I would encourage companies to really rethink their strategy around, around that and rethink where they put those investments in and not to underestimate the power of committing to communities early and consistently and the legacy that you can leave. My job is to bring in great, diverse, quality talent into Scotiabank. But if I can do things from an equity or inclusion perspective that impact the banking industry or STEM talent overall in this case, that's a benefit. Um, and I think organizations often go for short-term gain, but more and more we're seeing that you know, big and small corporates realize that this is bigger than that. So it's around social impact and um, community involvement as well. The next generation of these conversations becomes even more important, which, which is, here's that ecosystem, here's that network, here's that journey that, that people are taking through this space from the time they're born until the time they get jobs. And how do we influence that journey? How do we influence that ecosystem? And those are the conversations we need to be having next. I think we all realize and we all know and we are all committed to that long-term journey. It is about creating a legacy and knowing that we're leaving our businesses, our economy, our country in really good hands for the future.